So I've read online a lot about uh, people having problems with their DX8 and Easy UHF. And I was actually having a similar problem uh, or a related problem, what I figured out is a related problem uh, this weekend. So uh, a lot of people will say that the DX8 beeps. Yeah, that noise when you're using the Easy UHF. Uh, there's a couple videos online of people, you know, getting a lot of beeping when you're a truck or something metal. Uh, and the general consensus is it has to do with the DX8 not being properly shielded. So the problem that I was having was I was getting uh, chatter on the servos. So let's see if I can focus on the, uh, the Tech Sumo here. So I was getting a pulsing. And I think I can re recreate the problem here. There we go. That pulsing. And then that would translate into engine pulsing. Okay. This is exactly the problem. Now that pulsing was the it was basically signal drop, and uh, the motor wouldn't spin up or go to full power because it was always, uh, you know, rising to full and then dropping to full. Uh, so consequently, this caused me, uh, you know, a crash on takeoff while I was trying to troubleshoot this. So the answer to my problem has actually been, or, or the what I figured out is the cause is these antennas touching. Actually, you can see as I play with this the the twitch. Let me make sure this is focused. All right. So the simple solution here is simply, oops, Velcro right here. You get that up so the antennas don't touch. And you don't have a problem anymore. So I think what's going on is you get the, the UHS system is, is uh, sensitive to other wires or other antennas, uh, you know, because there's other ways to do it. I've been able to, you can hear the chatter as I get close to servo wires, which who knows what that does to all the other electrical components here. So uh, I think the moral of the story is just separation is better, Velcro, try and keep things separated. Who knows, maybe I can build a shield here. But, Back to full power.